Hi guys, welcome to Genes and the Genetic Code. You need to be able to look at the differences between prokaryotic and eukaryotic DNA, describe the nature of a gene, explain how genes code for polypeptides, describe structure of chromosome, explain how genes are arranged on a DNA molecule, describe the nature of homologous chromosomes, and explain what is meant by an allele. So lots of definitions going on today, so let's get started. So, before we start, uh, it's a quick recap on the structure of DNA from section uh, from section one. So, you can pause this video. It's five marks and let's have a look if you can do it. Right? Ready? So, let's start. So, we've got sugar phosphate, uh, backbone, double-stranded helix, so provides strength, okay? So that's the structure, that's the function. Long large molecule, again, structure function is to store lots of information. It's helix, so compact. Base sequence allow information to be stored and coded for uh, uh, amino acids, proteins. Double-stranded cell replication can take place, so the protein synthesis can take place, so they can act as templates. And they've got many weak hydrogen bonds for replication, so, uh, provide, so having many hydrogen bonds, it make it stable. Right. So words like DNA, DNA, it's a double helix, it's a deoxyribonucleic acid. Histones, histones then are the proteins associated with DNA, where DNA can wrap around them. DNA and histones, that complex, makes a more condensed form of DNA called a chromatin. The most condensed form of DNA, it's a chromosome, which is made of uh, sister chromatids joined by centromere. Okay, so we can si see this chromosome in the process of cell division and it's highly coiled. So, uh, chromosome and DNA, so what we say, sister chromatids joined together by the centromere, so we can see them in the cell division and they appear uh, as two chromatids joined at single centromere dna held is, is held by histones proteins in the uh, manner of the chromosome and dna it's fixed helix uh, and it's uh, round around the histones so the length of dna in the cell it's around two meters so what is the difference between haploid and diploid cell well this is the uh, karyotype, so this is the uh, set of the uh, chromosomes in the uh, male cell. Why in the male cell? Because we've got a Y chromosome here. If there was a, a female cell, then we would have X and X, okay? So diploid has a full set of the chromosomes. So in each of the sets, one, two, three, four, so on up to 23, we will have two pairs of the chromosomes. In terms of the haploid cell, it's going to only have a one chromosome in each of those sets. So in terms of the coding, uh, diploid, it's uh, symbolized as 2N because it has two sets and haploid has one N, single N. So diploid, there are uh, body cells, and haploid, those are our gametes, sex cells. So uh, here, a quick question. Give one process which occurs in the nucleus of cell during interface, which is necessary before cell division can take place. So it's, of course, the replication in the synthesis stage of the cell cycle. The diagram shows the chromosomes from a cell with a diploid chromosome number of six. So draw a diagram to show the chromosomes from one uh, of the resulting cells if the cell divides by mitosis. Remember, mitosis produces two identical cells. So, uh, so the cell uh, will have uh, still the same number of the chromosomes, okay, in the correct shape and position of centromere. Right, so what is then a homologous pair of chromosomes, also called a bivalent? So it's a pair 
of the chromosomes when one comes from mom, one comes from dad. Okay, so uh, we've got one parental, one uh, maternal chromosome in the pair, and those two chromosomes carry the same genes, but not necessarily the same alleles of the genes. So those uh, genes will be found at the same locus. So it's the position of the gene on the chromosome, so it's a location. OK, so here we've got a question as well. So diagram shows two chromosomes in a cell undergoing mitosis. And we've got gene A, B and C in different positions, in different loci. So name X. What's X? What joins those two sister chromatids? It's a centromere. And those are homologous chromosomes and give two pieces of evidence that there are homologous chromosomes. So homologous chromosomes, remember maternal, paternal, they are the same. So size, shape, location of the genes. Okay, so you could choose any of those ideas about same size, shape, genes, and the same loci for the specific gene. And that everything you can see on that diagram. Right, so differences between DNA and RNA, so we've done that many times. Uh, so uh, large molecule DNA, double-stranded, contains thymine and deoxyribose sugar. RNA, it's smaller, single-stranded, contains uracil and contains ribose. Both of those sugars are pentoses, but do not put that in your exam. You want to look at the differences. So difference is deoxyribose and ribose. So explain how a gene codes for a protein. So what is a gene? A gene is a section of DNA. So that section of DNA can code for a specific sequence of mRNA. On mRNA, you then have codons, and those codons affect the sequence of amino acids. Okay, so uh, this is our answer. And what is... Uh, what are homologous chromosomes for two markers? So it's a pair of chromosomes with genes for same features at the same loci. Okay, so differences between DNA in prokaryotic and eukaryotic cell. In prokaryotic cell, it's short, circular, and does not have histones. In DNA, it's found in the nucleus, it's long, it's linear, has histones, proteins, and chromosomes. The most condensed form of DNA, it's a chromosome. Right, also in the eukaryotic cell, we've got uh, DNA found in the mitochondria and chloroplast. They've got characteristics as in prokaryotic cells. So they are short, circular, and they don't have any histones associated with DNA. Right, so what is then a gene? It's a section of DNA. Uh, it's a sequence of DNA bases that can code for amino acid sequence of polypeptide and functional RNA, both RNA, RNA and tRNA. So remember, this is what the gene is. Learn that definition as per specification. Right, a loci, what we say before, it's a location because the gene occupies a fixed position it always found in the same place so a locus it's the position of the gene um, on the a dna molecule okay so allele allele is then the uh, form of the gene so one of a number of alternative forms of a gene so as you can see here we've got different loci for the uh, for the specific uh, gene, the uh, capital letters tell you that the allele is dominant and the lower case tells you that the allele is recessive, but still the same characteristics. So, for example, this B could be coding for, for the color. And if you've uh, got a big B, okay, a dominant allele, that could be a red color, lower case recessive, a blue color. Right, so the alleles then, they are different forms of the same gene as we've mentioned. The individuals inherits one allele from each parent. So remember, in the 
pair you need to have two alleles two letters one from whom one from that and they might be the same or they might be different so dominant or recessive and if there are difference that comes from the difference in base sequence so different amino acid sequences so they can produce different polypeptides if the mutation take place